Please turn off all cell phones or silence them and rise for a moment of silence and pledge of allegiance. Got a few presentations. First up, we have a oh, roll call. I'm sorry. First, Benelli here. Fidu here. Emo here. Nagnostakis Present. Benton here. Cheney here. Fagione here. Hines Kulasek Luhan here. Minuta here. O'Donnell here. Ruskevich here. Sassy here. Sierra here. Staganga here. Sutherland. Here. Tortell, Here. Tui, Here. Bureau, Brescia, 21 present. Okay, first proclamation is uh, Lucy Joyce and uh, Marie Aldrich and Rachel Moody from Cornell Cooperative Extension, and I'll invite up Paul Ruskevich, legislator who represents agriculture, and Barry Cheney, who represents the Dairy Princess in his district, and myself. Good afternoon. Uh, so June is Dairy Month and we are here to recognize the importance of our dairy farmers in this county, especially in a time of economic crisis for their industry. Extension is continuing to work with dairies to find niche markets and products, as well as educate legislators on how to help our dairy farmers. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, June is Dairy Month. Uh, every June we recognize the uh, dairy industry uh, here in Orange County. It's also National Dairy Month, uh, so it's always a pleasure to have uh, Extension and Dairy Princess here to uh, promote the dairy industry. Uh, as it's been said, our dairy industry right now is in a bit of economic crisis, and uh, one of the main reasons is consumption is down. We're drinking less milk. So I did a little bit of math. There's uh, 370,000 residents here in Orange County. If we each drink one more eight ounce glass of milk every day, that's 23,125 gallons a day, or 8,440,625 gallons per year. So it's probably not gonna solve the, uh, solve the problem, but it'll help a little bit. So uh, drink more milk, and uh, also don't forget uh, summer's uh, ice cream season too. So uh, July, one of my favorites. July is, is ice cream month. July is, oh, dairy month and then, okay. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna do my part, so I hope all you will too. So, uh, I don't know if we have a official proclamation here. Barry, did you wanna say anything? No, you did? Yeah, we should have our dairy princess say a few words. And then I'll. Hi everyone, my name is Olivia Parkin and I am currently serving as the Orange County Dairy Princess. Thank you for having me here today to receive the proclamation for June is Dairy Month. I just wanna say thank you to all of the hardworking dairy farmers for all you do um, while producing nature's most nearly perfect food, milk. I also wanna thank all of the legislators for all they do for all the Orange County Dairy Farmers. Thank you. I'm not going to read the whole thing because I'll over there. This is uh, basically officially uh, recognizing uh, June's third month. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, let's get some photos. Oh, <laughs> 
I just have to say that the, the legislature has always been very supportive of Cornell Cooperative Extension. And thank you, Lucy for, and Marie, for all you guys do. Um, we're going to have our dinner next month. We're, we're resurrecting that, I guess. We're not going to do it in the courtyard anymore because it's, it's tough to get out there. Are we doing August? September. Okay, I stand, stand corrected. But we look forward to that. That was always a great tradition. And, and thank you again. And we definitely still put our money where our mouth is in October when the budget session is coming up. Um, okay, we, we have a proclamation recognizing 40 years of promoting positive youth development throughout Orange County. Rachel Wilson, are you going to come up and present this with the county, somebody from the county exec's office? Harry Poor? Is it you, Harry, or Mary yeah, Pat? And I'm sorry I missed the lunch today. I didn't schedule properly. I was up in Sullivan County. I didn't get back in time. But Paul represented me, I heard. You brought chicken farm for me? Grandma, well, your stock is up, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, OK. Uh, yes, County Judge Craig Brown is here, too. Your daughter is involved with this? You want to say that you're just a dad? You don't want to speak? I'm here as a father. You're here as a father. OK. You've been here many capacities in the past. Thank you. Family, his grandfather was a legislator even, so. Rachel, you, who's going to speak? You want to say something? Or? I just wanted to say thank you to our wonderful legislature. I hate giving you my back. Uh, for ongoing support for 40 years, I was not, I was three. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I just want to thank all of my board members. Our board ranges from a 15-year-old, Olivia, up to older than that. So <laughs> our longest time serving board member has served for 40 years, Susan Murray Tetz, and today we recognized her with a Lifetime Achievement Award. I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge our previous county um, youth bureau director, Carol Chichester, who was the executive director for 25 years. I've been honored to be serving with the youth bureau for almost 16 years. Thank you to Mr. O'Donnell for having faith in me, for you and Mr. Mr. Diana for appointing me as county exec, and thank you, Mr. Poor, to you and Mr. Newhouse for keeping me on. So, love what we do. We work very hard to promote positive youth development for youth and families around the county. Our programs work very hard. They're the ones in the trenches, uh, but we do appreciate the money and the support that the legislature, county exec's office, and the state give us. Thank you. And by the way, the uh, kickball contest in Montgomery Elementary School is June 19th at noon, okay? We're going to beat those kids again this year. Okay, 40 years of promoting positive youth development throughout Orange County, whereas the Orange County Youth Bureau is celebrating its 40th anniversary in April 2018, and whereas the County Youth Bureau has provided invaluable training and guidance for generations of Orange County youth and families. And whereas the Youth Bureau has helped change lives of children, youth, and families across Orange County, whereas Youth Bureau, the Youth Bureau, excuse me, has been instrumental in the professional development and program quality assurance for youth and family serving organizations across Orange County, whereas the Youth Bureau has been an integral part of Orange County, and whereas the staff of Orange County Youth Bureau and members of its Youth Advisory Board Collaboration of Community Change have provided dedicated leadership. Now, there be a, uh, now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Stephen M. Newhouse, Orange County Executive, and I, L. Stephen Brescia, Chairman of the Legislature, urge all citizens of Orange County to recognize and celebrate the historic occasion honoring the 7th day of June 2000. I present this to you, and hopefully we can get a couple pictures. Okay, and finally, uh, Legislator James O'Donnell is here to uh, present a proclamation honoring students and coaches of the Goshen Central High School mock tri uh, trial team and Mr. Robert Karshauer. Please come up with your students, and uh, Jim O'Donnell is going to take it away. But I congratulate you, too. What a, what a high honor that is, and fantastic work.
Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Judge Craig Brown, I'm going to ask him to say a few words because he was also instrumental in the mock trials. Thank you. So Orange Ulster BOCES um, really does all the legwork with respect to our mock trial program. I just get to stand up and uh, receive the accolades for how well the program runs. When in truth, it's my staff, Carol Deal, as well as Orange Ulster, Ulster BOCES that goes through and does all the legwork. Uh, but who does the real work is the teams and the coaches. And I have to tell you, I can't be more proud of Goshen this year, uh, who won the state tournament. They not only won our local tournament, they went down and won the regional tournament. They went up to Albany, and they represented Orange County in a tremendous fashion. I have to tell you, you know, oftentimes I'm a county court judge, primarily handling criminal cases. And we see, um, unfortunately, some youths coming before me that don't make the best choices. So it is refreshing to see people like these young men and women standing to my left that have spent months working on a program, uh, working on a problem where they're getting up before judges, making arguments, calling witnesses, and working hours upon hours to get up and do trials uh, at a high school level. And I have to tell you, these young men and women standing to my left are as good as many of the practitioners who have been practicing for decades that appear before me on a regular basis. And so I want to congratulate them for a phenomenal job. Thank you, Judge. That was great. Much better than I would have done. So. I'm going to talk to uh, Superintendent Connors because uh, every uh, high school you go into, and, and some grammar schools, in fact, one right behind me, uh, St. John's Grammar School, if you go in there, you see any uh, basketball team that's undefeated. So they have all the uh, uh, players' names. And on uh, one of the banners, you'll actually see a fantastic coach, Jimmy O'Donnell, uh, was undefeated one year there. But <laughs> if we can do that for our athletes, I'm going to talk to uh, the superintendent, certainly, uh, you men and women deserve your own banner in the halls of Goshen High School to have a, a state title next to your name. That was fantastic work. I know you've been up there uh, in the semifinals uh, a couple of times the last three or four years, so you finally got over the top, and uh, that was fantastic. And I know you had uh, Mark Stern was one of your coaches, and Mr. Koshow, who I've known for uh, years, so uh, I didn't want to say how many, so. But. He's uh, fantastic, does a great job up at the school, so congratulations. So I'll read a little bit of this. This is from all of us in the legislature in honor of uh, your great achievement. So, whereas the essence of education is to bring forth, develop, and enhance the knowledge, talent, and creativity of the students, instilling a sense of cooperation in order to achieve a greater goal, and whereas the tension and immediacy of representing one school, community, and county in local and state compositions results in the development of poise, ingenuity, and resourcefulness, and their triumph under pressure is worthy of recognition and honor. And it's signed by myself and the chairman of the legislature, L. Stephen Brescher. So congratulations. I'd just like to thank, on behalf of my entire team, uh, both the legislature and the county, uh, Judge Brown, Judge Van Haster, who run the tournament, for all of the commitment and effort that they put in to allowing this to happen year after year so that we can not only compete against one another but also have an educational opportunity that's very unique, uh, that gives us an opportunity to not only learn about the law and learn about the practice of the law but to also do it. And there are many students, myself included, that learn that way and learn that way wonderfully. Uh, we start with 12 teams at our county level. We go to six teams at the regional level, representing each of those counties. And at the state tournament, we have eight teams, and we compete in the finals. And this year, we were fortunate enough to be the state champions, and that is a great honor. So thank you very much. Thank you.
Okay, we only have one speaker, Timothy Mitz, regarding the Helen Keller proclamation, a resolution. Um, you're on time now, so. <laughs> thank you very much. Again, ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you for having me today, Mr. Tui, my county legislator. Thank you for letting me know. Believe it or not, and I watched all these kids going out, all the great things you do for them, the next best thing for Orange County is Rest Haven. Rest Haven was started in 1923 by MC Miguel, who has an historical plaque on Mantridge Golf Course. He opened up Rest Haven in 1923, it closed in 1968, and the service was an adult home for blind women. So American, from the American Foundation, as I said before, preservation of Rest Haven, Rest Haven, and myself, thank you for having me here today and recognizing the upcoming event on item 32, uh, the uh, Helen Keller Death, uh, Death uh, Blindness Awareness Week. We really appreciate it. She was here. We have pictures of her on the steps of this house. The house has been put on the New York State historical um, places. It is, was immediately listed in June, 20, June 26th of last year and put on the National Registration of Historical Places. And I'm very happy to tell you about excitement. They are coming, the federal government, to look and make it a national landmark. We have everything in there from the American Foundation to MC Miguel, who fought for labor rules for the blind, to American Red Cross, Monroe uh, Band, uh, Warwick um, Band, uh, Warwick Valley Dispatch actually produced a 1903 original article about this house with pictures, containing two pictures, one of the foyer and one of the uh, outside of the house. Warwick Historical Society produced an original glass negative of one of the rooms inside the house, which we have reproduced an original picture of that room, and it's on display at the house. Um, the money is all done with private money. Over a million dollars has been put into this property to rebring it back and to leave it as an adult home and preserve for this community, which it deserves. So I want to say thank you for the awareness. The Amer we all thank you for it, and I really appreciate the time coming before you. Um, and just so you know, before I finish, Helen Keller's involvement was that she was a trustee from 1932 to 1968 for the American Foundation for the Blind. Her job was to overlook this facility. We do have access and we have seen documents that shows that she was in physically being in, given information about the operation and what went on there. Uh, and she was very involved with Miguel when he was running the, the facility back then. So there's a lot of history that got lost there. And I think the legislation here, I uh, invite every single one of you, if you want to feel history, you got it here. 9,350 square feet of living spaces, 10 bedrooms, nine fireplaces, all built with oak and mahogany floors, Wayne's coating on the walls, grandeur staircase. We have restored most of the lights that were in the house back to original. And it's something that you know, even Peter has seen the house, and it is something that just takes your breath away. So thank you for your time, and I appreciate it very much today. Good luck. Thank you, Mr. Mitz.
And thank you, Legislator Tui, for inviting Mr. Mitz. I'd like to see that house. I'm a, I'm a lumber guy, so oak and mahogany. I'd definitely like to see it and the historical significance. Okay, first, uh, Majority Leader Benelli. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Are there any referrals, withdrawals, or consents? I guess not. Guess we'll go to number one, Jean. Legislators Benton and Sutherland, resolution requesting the enactment of New York State Senate and Assembly bills entitled an act to ratify, validate, and confirm the hiring of John D. Cameron, Amanda F. Smith, and Cameron S. Albert to the public office of probation officer in the County of Orange. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Aye. Paduke? Aye. Amo? Aye. Anagnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Bureau, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, agenda item number two. Legislators Benton and Menuda, resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2017 Orange County budget for various departments pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. And number three. Legislators Benton and Nagdastakis. Resolution approving the release of the county's interest in and to a certain detail parcel to the previous owner of record pursuant to section five, paragraph B1 of local law number two of 2010. Thank you. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yep. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Biro? Brescia? 21 eyes. And number four. Legislator Benton, resolution authorizing the private sale and conveyance of certain county owned lands acquired by reason of a failure to redeem said lands from a tax sale to Orange County pursuant to section 10184 of the real property tax law and Orange County amended local law number two of 2010. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Number five. Legislator Benton, resolution approving the applications for the correction of certain errors appearing on the 2018 tax rolls for certain towns and districts and ordering the correction of said errors pursuant to section 554 of the real property tax law. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number six. Legislators Kulasek, Benton, and Tui. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature and the Orange County Executive Stephen M. Newhouse requesting the New York State Legislature and Governor Andrew M. Cuomo to adopt New York State Senate Bill S-8861 and Assembly Bill A-11033 designating a portion of the New York State Highway Route 300 in the town of Newburgh as Gold Star Families Memorial Highway. Okay, before I open up discussion, I just want to say that uh, Legislator Kulasek brought this to me, and they went to Ways and Means, so it was passed in committee, um, but it is a time-sensitive time issue, so 
I would urge all of you to vote for it. Legislator, our Majority Leader Benelli. All Republicans, all Democrats, Independents. Okay, any other discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, yes. Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Number seven. Legislators Benelli and Kulasek. Resolution making a certain determinations relating to an application requesting the authorization and consent of the New York State Comptroller for the proposed increase and improvements to the facilities of the Beaver Dam Lake Protection and Rehabilitation District and authorizing the county executive to approve and sign such application on behalf of the legislature of Orange County, New York. Second. Discussion. Yes, Legislator Totel added, Lujan added, Saganga, Hines. Oh, okay. Um, Tui, Menuda and Heinz will speak. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I got a text from uh, Larry Rossini while I was driving here today. I didn't see it till I got here, and he said he couldn't be here tonight, but he wants everybody to please support this project and move it forward, and I'm supposed to text him with the results as soon as the vote's done, so. He's, he's watching and he's very interested, as is the whole community. Thank you. So you'll be excused for texting. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Yes. Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number eight. Legislator Vero, Benton, and Benelli. Bond resolution dated June 7, 2018. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the roof replacement of Hangar F at the Orange County Airport, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 50,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 50,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk, yes. Amo, yes. Nagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number nine, bond resolution also, two thirds required. Legislators Ruskevich, Benton, and Benelli. Bond resolution dated June 7, 2018. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the acquisition of various fleet equipment for the Department of Public Works, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 500,000, appropriating said amount, therefore, including 400,000 in state funds expected to be received, and authorizing the issuance of 100,000 bonds of the county to finance the balance of said appropriation. Discussion, you want to, Bureau added as a sponsor. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. And number 10. Legislators Benton, Benelli, and Kulasek. Bond resolution dated June 7, 2018. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the acquisition of various parks equipment, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 100,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 100,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Yep. Uh, Tui added, uh, Paduk added, Lujan added, Menuda added, and Fagion added, and Staganga and Totel. Okay, and Sutherland, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Aye. Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 11. 
Legislators Ruskevich, Benelli, Benton, and Agnostakis and Kulasek. Bond resolution dated June 7, 2018. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of various improvements to county parks, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 100,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 100,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Want to be added? Kevin Darian. Okay, Paduk, Stuganga, and Menuda. Tierra, I'm sorry. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Saganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, number 12. Legislators Kulasek, Benelli, Benton, and Tui. Resolution accepting a donation of certain lands in the town of Newburgh from Plank Properties, Inc., pursuant to section 2153 of the county law. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tui, Totel, Vero, and Brescia. Okay, 13A, receive and file number 13. Legislators Benelli, Amo, Menuda, Fagione. Local law introductory number four of 2018. A local law amending section three of local law number two of 2008, establishing the Orange County Traffic Safety Board pursuant to article 43 of a New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law and sections 10 and 24 of the Municipal Home Rule Law of the State of New York. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 14. Legislators Fagione and Sassi, resolution confirming the reappointments by the county executive to the Orange County Police Advisory Board pursuant to section 18.07A of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. And number 15. Legislator Sassi and Lujan, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Probation to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Office of Victim Services pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Just, uh, Bureau added, Kulasek added, uh, Tautel added, Stagenga. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassi? Sierra? Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Number 16. Legislators Fagione and Hines, an act amending the management compensation plan and salary schedule for the Orange County management plan to provide for the restructure of salary and compensation for management positions in the office of the Orange County Sheriff, pursuant to section 2.02G and H of Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion, Vero added. Okay. Uh, Stagenga added, Tui added, Sierra added, Menuda added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassi? Sierra? Stagenga? Sutherland? 
Tortel, Tui, Bureau, Brescia, 21 ayes. And number 17. Legislators Fagione and Hines, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reallocate deputy sheriff and chief at the Orange County Sheriff's Office pursuant to section 2.02I of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Padu? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 18. Legislators Ruskevich, Fagione, and Vero. Resolution authorizing an increase in the per diem hourly rate of pay for the position of per diem part time deputy sheriff at the Orange County Sheriff's Office, pursuant to section 2.020 of the Orange County Charter. Okay, this was the one where the sheriff explained in committee um, wherein we, it's tough to hire people that aren't uh, our officers, deputies in the schools and so important in the schools. Only for schools. But only in the schools, right? Okay. Discussion? Two we added, the Duke added. Okay. Uh, does anybody not want to be added? It might be easier on this one. Who doesn't want to be added to this? Good. Everybody added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Viduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. And number 19. Legislators Fagione, Sierra, and Sassi, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create three assistant district attorneys, one at the Orange County District Attorney's Office, pursuant to section 2.02I of the Orange County Charter. Okay. Discussion, Bureau added. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. And Agnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 20. Legislators Tortel, Ruskevich, Menuda, and Sassi, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reallocate Chief Assistant District Attorney at the Orange County District Attorney's Office pursuant to Section 2.02I of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 21. Legislators Fagione, Tortel, Menuda, and Sassi, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reallocate Chief Trial Adis Assistant District Attorney and Executive Assistant District Attorney at the Orange County District Attorney's Office, pursuant to Section 2.02I of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines, Kulasek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Priskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, 22. Legislators Fagione, Sierra, Menuda, and Tortel, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create human resources associate and abolish secretary at Orange County Community College pursuant to section 2.02I of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Yes. Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Aye. Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassi? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 23. 
Legislator Spagione and Sassi, resolution of the Orange County Legislature appointing James DeSalvo to fill a vacancy in the Orange County Industrial Development Agency pursuant to sections 856 and 912 of general municipal law. Discussion? Yes, Majority Leader. All Republicans added. Okay, roll call. However, um, I've been told that there was no resume submitted for it. As there was a resume. Yeah. Okay. okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. The Duke? No. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagion? Hines, Kulisek, no. Lujan, no. Menuda, yes. O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, yes. Sutherland, yes. Tortel, no. Tui, Vero, yes. Brescia. 17 eyes, four no's. Okay, number 24. Legislators Fagione and Sassi, resolution of the Orange County Legislature appointing James DeSalvo to fill a vacancy in the Orange County Funding Corporation, a local development corporation authorized pursuant to section 1411 of the New York, New York State not-for-profit profit corporation law. Second. Discussion? Yes. All Republicans? Okay. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? No. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagion, Hines, Kulisek, no. Lujan, no. Menuda, yes. O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, yes. Tortel, no. Tui, Biro, yes. Brescia. 17 eyes, four no's. And number 25. Legislators Fagion and Sassi, resolution confirming the appointments by the County Executive to the Orange County Community College Board of Trustees, pursuant to section 19.01 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Added. Luan added. Benton added. You want to speak? Okay, just give me one second. Benelli added. Amo to speak after Benton. Yes, Deganga added. Okay, Legislator Benton first and then Amo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Last year, there were many of us uh, who were very critical of the uh, negotiations that took place for the college retirement plan that we had to approve. And uh, I thought the county exec's office would have gotten it that uh, we were critical. We were looking for changes to be made to this, quote, college uh, culture. And I honestly don't see how anyone here really should be able to vote for someone who actually took advantage of that. Uh, retirement plan and is now being proposed for to being a trustee. So I would like to have these separated, please. Okay, do you want two of them or which one do you want separated? Uh, I think we should separate them also. No, you can do the, the two gentlemen and then one of them. Okay, put Weddle and Martucci first. We'll separate, okay. Yes, uh, Legislator Fagione? Amo is next to speak, Are you, do you want to speak? Or do you want to clarify something? Was Amo, Legislator Amo, when, uh, caucus leader Amo was next to speak, and then you want to wait until after that? Okay, Legislator Amo. There's. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I want to speak specifically to, I guess, the one woman on this, uh, Flo Heinous. Uh, I've known Flo probably for 30 years, I would think. She was on my board of directors of the Mental Health Association when I was president. And, and I've never seen anybody so passionate about healthcare and the way she gets things done. And, and we know she was a department head at OCK. I understand Mr. Benton's position, but she is an extremely competent person. Um, and, I, and I really think we should support her. Yeah, I'll just say that Majority Leader Benelli gave me the same, pretty much the same endorsement, so. Okay. Yes, I-, I Cut you off. I, I, She's just gonna talk to the same. It's there, okay. As long as yours is off, it's okay for mine to be on. Um, but I do concur with what Mr. Amo is saying. Um, I, I don't think that she should be penalized for what the former trustees have had to do in order to be able to meet budget with 
that I think she will be a great asset and I think she brings a fresh new approach to uh, what we're trying to do as far as the college is concerned and I think she would be a great asset. She is the one, for those of you that are not aware and were here at the last session, those bridges, the children from the Bridges program at the college, she is the one that instituted that program. So, and um, she still continues to work very hard for them. So, while she was working as a paid staffer for the college, now she will be working as a volunteer, as a trustee, I would hope, and I think she would do a great job. Okay, Legislator Pagione, I'm sorry. There it goes. Thank you, Chairman. With deference to uh, Legislator Benton, I would ask for consideration that we would separate all three for each indiv individual votes. Um, up ahead on our agenda today, we have items that are isolated independently. And just prior, we took two separate votes on some uh, matters involving parks. So for consideration, would you consider amending the amendment to offer individual votes for all three applicants? I don't think we need to vote on an amendment on it. We can just do it, right? That's fine. So long as there's no objections. Yeah, if there's no objections, I'll allow it. Okay. All right, let's start with Weddell. If there's no uh, further discussion. All right, roll call on Tom Weddell. Vote on Weddell. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Aye. Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Biro? Brescia? 21 eyes on Weddell. Okay, next Ralph Martucci, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassi? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes on one. Okay, next Florence Haynes. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? No. Benton? No. Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Yes. Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Yes. Sassi? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Biro? Brescia? 19 eyes, two no's on Haynes. Okay, number 26. Legislators Cheney, Lujan, Benton, and O'Donnell. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 Orange County budget for the Orange County Soil and Water Conservation District pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion, Kulasek added, Reskevich added, Paduk added, Stiganga, Sierra, Minuta. I get everybody? Okay, sound like an auctioneer up here. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Adactostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Biro? And Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 27. These are not bond resolutions, by the way. Legislator O'Donnell and Sutherland. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 county budget for the Valley View Center for Nursing Care and Rehabilitation pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Uh, two we added. Okay, roll call. Yes. Oh. Lujan added to Genga and Totel. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Luhan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Biro, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, number 28. Legislators Amo and Tortell. 
Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 county budget for the Valley View Center for Nursing Care and Rehabilitation, pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Lujan added, O'Donnell added, uh, Tui and Stagenga. And uh, a southern one, I'm sorry. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Renek Nostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 29. Legislators Tui and Sutherland. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 county budget for the Valley View Center for Nursing Care and Rehabilitation pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion. It's Totel added, added, Lujan added, O'Donnell added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. In number 30. Legislators Tui and O'Donnell. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 county budget for the Valley View Center for Nursing Care and Rehabilitation pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Uh, Janet, you want to be added? Or you want to talk? No, okay, Sutherland added, Paduke added, Lujan, Staganga, Tuttle. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Benagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, yes. Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 31. Legislator Sutherland and Tortell, resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 county budget for the Valley View Center for Nursing Care and Rehabilitation, pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion. O'Donnell added, Amo added, Staganga, Lujan. Oh, you want to speak? Do you want to be added to it or no? Yeah, I added and speak. Paduke added. Okay, uh, party leader Amo. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think that with the, uh, the four and then the fifth revolution, the resolution they're going to be voting on now, I think we should. Be sad to be happy that uh, Chairman of the Health and Mental Health Committee, Mr. Nagastakis, and the Chairman of, of Ways and Means, Mr. Bennett, were just very doggedly making sure that we identified the money that was available through the intergovernment inter inter transfer to be identified in the budget in, in, in Valley View. And thereby, we're able to prove these, that up here, five resolutions where actually Valley View is paying for it without us having to bond it. So, compliment to the two chairmen. Yes, they definitely do deserve a lot of accolades on that. That was a great catch, and it took a long time to get the answer, but we ferreted it out. The Newberg guys did it for us. <laughs> okay, discussion further? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Yes. Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, but Sheriff Du Bois is here today, too. I was good to see you, Carl. Uh, number 32. Legislators in Agnostakis, Amo, O'Donnell, Sutherland, Tui, Sierra, and Tortell. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature designating June 21st through June 27, 2018 is Helen Keller Deaf Blind Awareness Week. Second. Okay, all Republicans, all Democrats, and Independents. Right? Okay, roll call. Or discussion, I'm sorry. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. The Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. And Agnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, yes. O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes, Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear. Before we adjourn, uh, Legislator Kulasek, did you want to mention a little commercial about the wall? Yes. Uh, let's see, July 31st, the uh, Vietnam Veterans Memorial Foundation is 
bringing the memorial wall to Newburgh, and it's going to be an entourage through Orange County, actually, starting in Matamoros, Pennsylvania, and it will tour through Orange County before it reaches the res uh, it's going to reside at the Waterfront Park down in uh, Newburgh, which is the old consolidated iron site. And it's going to be on display from August 2nd through August 5th, 24 hours a day. And uh, if you'd like to come down, everybody would really love to see you. You want to talk about Gold Star Mothers and Gold Star Families, you'll meet a lot of them there. I hope to see you all there. Thanks. Thank you for bringing that to our attention, Jim. Uh, just a remi reminder, um, the legislative session will be on July 2nd at 3.30 here. Okay, before the 4th, so make sure you make... Okay, Sheriff DeBose, you want to say something? No, just want to let you know that the Sheriff's Office is also escorting that wall and we'll be helping with it. Just so you know. Excellent. We're, we're A lot of good things of happening in Newburgh. We're, we're taking care of it. And so, like, again, like, uh, like uh, Legislator Kulisek said, it's, it's a great thing. Come on down and see it. Thank you, Sheriff, and thank you, Jim. Okay, motion to adjourn.